You know, one of the handiest tools to come along in recent years is these oscillating tools, right? But we go through a ton of blades. Well, I've got a blade that was sent to me to test out, and supposedly these last 50 times longer than normal and 80 times longer. We're gonna test that out right after this. Okay, I was sent these tools, these oscillating blades to test out. So we're gonna do exactly that. And these blades claim to be able to cut things like rebar, nails, and bolts. So we're gonna try it out and see if they can do anything because rebar can be pretty tough to cut. Now these are from a company called Toolant and I'll put a link to all these in the description. I'm gonna read what it says on here. This is the uh, titanium carbide oscillating saw blade. It says it cuts wood, plastic nail, bolts, and other hard metals. Titanium enhanced carbide teeth. Um, let's see, it's designed for extreme metal cutting in screws, bolts, metal pipe, nails, and more. Screws are hardened, so we, we probably ought to test that too. It's a one and three eighths inch titanium enhanced carbide tooth metal blade last up to 50 times longer than standard bimetal blades. So again, we're gonna test that. Now the other one is called an Alton carbide. Never heard of it, but basically says the same thing except it says last up to 80 times longer than standard bimetal. So we're gonna put them to test and we're gonna test it against this, which is a standard bimetal blade. This came with my DeWalt oscillating tool. Um, this thing's brand new because I recently got robbed and had to go buy another one. They got me for about $15,000 a few months ago. Luckily, insurance is covering a lot of it. But anyway, that's why it looks brand new. So I think I'm gonna start out, I rigged this up already uh, for this, but I'm gonna put a nail in here We'll start with that. It's usually a, a little bit softer. And then we'll try probably moving up to this and then maybe the screw and the bolt. We'll see if it holds up for all of that. Now, mainly I just wanna see if it'll cut. I'm not too worried about if it'll cut multiple times because this is tough cutting, cutting metal as it is. So hey now, remember what the purpose of this test really is, is not so much can these cut metal. We're gonna test that, but there's a reason because I wouldn't really break one of these out to cut metal normally, maybe once in a while. This is more like if you're cutting wood and you hit a screw or a nail, or you need to cut off a bolt flush. These are good for cutting flush cuts, so you might have to cut metal in that situation, but most of the time it's gonna be what happens if you hit one of these other metals. So we're gonna test all that. And hey guys, if you hear a little bit of a lisp, I am here in Quartzsite, Arizona. Went to Mexico, got a bunch of dental work done. I have a temporary in here. It's kind of like a partial denter, denture. Really makes it hard to talk right, but I wanted to get this video out for you. So we're gonna do it. So let me set up and we'll get going on this. Okay, we got a big nail, medium nail, small nail. So this is a drywall nail, 16 penny and a small spike and we've got the bimetal blade in here we're gonna see how this cuts starting with the small one and I'll leave enough room to cut with these others afterwards so here we go so let's try this one Okay, the bimetal's going through that one pretty easy. The vibration hurts it, but this is the best I can do right here. We'll cut a little lower here. And actually, I know it'll go through this about the same, but let's try it.
Okay, there is some damage to the blade, but it did make it through it. Okay, we're swapping to the carbide titanium. So a little nail. Other than the vibration, easy. Let's do the bigger nail. Pretty easy on that one. Let's go a little bigger. That one did about the same, but the teeth still look like new. I'll show you the picture. Okay, now the titanium carbide on the rebar. Okay, it made it through it. Let's see what the teeth look like. And here's a picture of it. Okay, we're gonna cut some more with this, but first we're gonna switch over to the other blade. Now we're on the carbide Alton coating. We're just gonna go with the medium and up. The little ones are too easy. We could go through that real quickly. So let's go here. over here and do some. Okay, after three cuts, I can tell you it looks just like the last photo. Let's move to the rebar. like in the rebarts it's damaged it let me show you what it looks like okay I decided to chuck up the second blade we're gonna try cutting this again I'm just gonna go a little slower see if it can take it or not I'm going right in the cut where it failed so it's partly cut already and I'm gonna try and slow my motor down a little bit it's variable speed trigger no dial so it's a little hard to do Shoot it up again. So, not impressed with that blade. Okay, we're gonna try the carbide titanium on a screw. Okay, 
two more cuts through a hardened screw and here's what it looks like. Here's my final take. I went through these blades. I ruined two of them. One is still standing strong and that is the T-Rex carbide titanium. I've cut multiple cuts on the nails, I think three times on the rebar, and the blade still looks like this. It still looks really good. I think it's good to go. So I'm kind of disappointed in the Alton. Maybe I pushed it a little too hard. I have a feeling that the harder the blade, the more brittle the teeth. That's usually the case. And the teeth kind of broke off. So possibly if you go slower, but I tried to go at the normal pace. Just you heard I wasn't laboring the motor on this. So I tried not to push it through it too fast and overheat it. So it's possible I still did something wrong. I'm not sure, but what I can tell you is out of these, this one's the one that impressed me the most. And it's the one that says up to 50 times longer. But for right now, I can tell you the bimetal, it's typical bimetal. It's DeWalt quality, so it's good quality. But as soon as I tried to cut the rebar, it started tearing it all up and it just was pretty much shot. And it only made it through the nails with, I think, some minor damage. So I'd say these are definitely tougher blades. This is the one I would buy at this point. So hey, if you know of any other blades that you really like, comment down below. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to put a link to these in the description down below this if you want to pick them up. And I honestly, so far, I'm pretty impressed with these because rebar is a bear to cut and it made it through it about three times with no damage. Hey, if you really want to take your drywall mudding skills to the next level, check out my new ebook. I put this one out about showing you guys uh, how to correct a lot of the mistakes you're making. Some of these tips and tricks are going to help you advance your skills quickly. I guarantee it. If you don't like this book, write me. I'll give you your money back. I've got a lot of pointers in there. You can read a whole lot more on my website at thatkiltedguy.com. But just click the link down below if you want to go to the website and pick this up. It's not very much money and it will help you out a lot. Believe me. Thanks for stopping by. Here's some more videos to watch. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.